All right, guys. So after having the overview and the brief introduction about the course, let's start with the course itself. And when you are starting to learn anything, whether it's product management, project management, machine learning, whatever, first thing you need to understand is what exactly you are dealing with. So when we are saying product management, we need to understand what exactly product management is. And in one of my earlier videos, I have mentioned that product manager is CEO of a product. Now, does that mean a product is a company in itself? Because usually you'll have CEOs of companies. Within companies, you'll have CEOs, managers, directors, but there is only one CEO. And that CEO is looking after entire company. So does that mean product manager is kind of CEO for the product? Let's understand what a CEO does. A CEO is essentially practicing management of the company, which include strategic management for current and future opportunities, um, trying to grow the company, um, they are also responsible for operations because CEO, that is Chief Operation Officer, will directly report to them. And so as finance, so CFOs will report to them or any other function, HR or anything you can think of for a company essentially comes under or rather falls under purview of CEO. They are responsible for the overall functioning of a company. Of course, there are CEOs, managers, directors reporting to them, but that is again the structure of the corporation. Now, come back to product management. How do you think this relates to product management? In a nutshell, all of these things which a CEO is doing to run the organization at the corporation level, you as a product manager are required to do that to run your product. So you need to have a strategic view which is called product strategy in case of product management. You need to align your product with the company vision or product vision. In terms of operations, you are responsible for developing your product. So product management involves execution or development of product. It's launching, it's growth. You need to ensure that your product is loaded with features which are attractive and you have a product market fit. In simple terms, you have customers who are ready to pay for those services or features then you need to maintain it so you need to see if your product is falling behind in the market there should be some kind of competitive edge and let's say it is not possible to revive your product then you need to think about or rather retire your product and move on to greener postures which essentially means looking at new products or features which are going to deliver value to your organization so this is part of product life cycle, which we will discuss later. But point is that you are CEO of the product and this entire operation in this entire domain of managing product is product management. Let's quickly go through some of the job openings from some of the major players to understand what kind of requirements or skill set they seek when they are looking for product managers. It will also include roles and responsibilities for product managers, which will help us in understanding what exactly is product management. And if we were to again use LinkedIn, I um, mean, this is principal product manager, so we will look into this. But first, let's see this one, the product manager with Nielsen. And if you see, let's let's see if we can find any other example so we have this pm with um, expedia and anything else let's look at this one as well this one let's use wells fargo also and i'm opening all these so that you can get a broader overview all right 
so let's first look at this one this is product manager with Expedia so if you were to look at their skill set you will see that they are asking for project management business analysis team management leadership and of course on the product management which we will study in the course but if you look at the responsibilities which is use data and judgment to craft our strategy and define clear roadmaps now here if you see data is something which is uh, qualitative and quantitative but as far as judgment is concerned we are essentially looking at a leadership role and leadership also a requirement here or the management but uh, what i want to highlight here is that product management is not only a science but it is also an art because the moment you talk about something other than let's say maths or science it's a lot about human discretion steve jobs created different kind of products at a different kind of time with different resources mark zuckerberg created something different or larry page or anybody else you can think of whereas lot of other guys with similar resources couldn't come up with something like apple facebook or google so in product management when you are thinking about product management you always need to bring in yourself of course today it's all about data driven decision making and the judgment but you need to have certain sense of empathy you need to put yourself in the shoes of your customer and try to see beyond data because data is essentially what has happened in the past and it is said that to predict future you should look into the past but it is also said that uh, past performance is not a guarantee for the future performance right so we need to have ability a kind of you can say sixth sense to predict future can i use a technology today let's say machine learning in some way which can add value to my product in a way where it gives me or helps me in acquiring a leadership position in the market in terms of finance or market share but also in terms of delivering extra value to the customer and lot of time when you are dealing with new features or new technologies you may not have relevant data of course uh, it could be there in bits and pieces but not 100% of it so in those situations in those moments you need to apply your judgment and that's why even if lot of job openings doesn't include something like judgment and you will see that a lot of these openings will not have this word but judgment is a key word when you are talking about product management problem solving decision making all of these things are key to product management let's go through few other job openings to understand it better so here it talks about partner with strong technical teams to translate customer needs into workable technology solution which is essentially your business analysis requirements and solutions develop design and prototypes again business analysis deliver on our roadmap by prioritizing so now maybe somewhere here they might have mentioned that you are responsible for creating roadmap but given this description it seems that there might be some other team which will build roadmap and you will have to deliver uh, the services and features based on given roadmap now if you were to go to some other uh, let's see if we can find something else so we have one from paypal here let's use this one it says as a technical product manager so we will talk about the types of product managers in the next video but for now if you were to look at their uh, responsibilities then you are expected to understand business needs and key capabilities then independently now let me point out one big difference between a ceo and a product manager 
सो एवरीबडी ने कंपनी टेक्निकली डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली रिपोर्ट्स टू सी ई ओ बट इन केस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट नो बडी रिपोर्ट्स टू प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर सो दो यू आर सी ई ओ फॉर दैट प्रोडक्ट बट दिस डज नॉट मीन दैट यू हैव डायरेक्ट रिपोर्टीज यू विल हैव इंजीनियरिंग टीम्स एसेंशियली डेवलपर्स और टेस्टिंग टीम और मार्केटिंग टीम लीगल टीम डिफरेंट टीम्स यू मे हैव टू वर्क विद दैम यू माइट बी पार्ट ऑफ दैम but nobody reports to you you are essentially uh, ic individual contributor of course when you grow you become let's say senior product managers or principal product managers you will have a team of product managers who will report to you but in simple sense um, it's a ic role nobody else is reporting to you but it is a leadership role it's a management role and you need to understand that even the technical product managers so we will talk about what technology here or other technical here means but even those roles where you are essentially dealing with technology and everything it has to do a lot with leadership and management so if you are planning to uh, work as a product manager i will say focus on your leadership skills then we have product feature analysis so again as i have mentioned earlier Uh, it's all about operations and development and their uh, product life cycle so product feature analysis planning and execution all of this is part of product management which simply means that you need to identify features which should be there in your product you need to prioritize them because uh, when you are initially doing ideation about products or features you'll have tons of features especially if you are working with various stakeholders you need to prioritize because you have limited time you have limited funds you have limited people so you cannot go on with you know endless list of features you need to prioritize and identify your key features and you need to focus on them and then you need to plan them which is essentially road mapping and planning how you are going to deliver them followed by execution which is essentially your product development and all product managers will essentially do requirement gatherings uh, working with development teams product owners business analyst so that's why if you're coming from a business analyst background or product owner background product management is one of the uh best option for you in fact even if you are coming from project management or program management um this is a really good field because there are a lot of skills and responsibilities which are overlapping with other field um but it is much closer to i'll say business analyst or product owners let's go through few more options here to understand any diversity we may have here any deviations or additional requirements you can see that be a customer champion and this is a very common uh responsibility for product managers as i have said earlier you need to put yourself in your customers shoes you need to have empathy with your customer you need to understand what exactly their problems are what issues they are facing when they are trying to do something or they are trying to use your product so you need to be very clear with that in terms of ownership it is again be the ceo of your product have a holistic view if we were to over simplify then we can say that product management is all about customer ownership or user experience and ownership of your product so product craft here essentially means art of developing your product so this is related to your product strategy and the vision so create solutions with delightful user experience find the balance between solving the customer problem and shipping the right product solution now finding the balance essentially means prioritization so as i said earlier prioritization is key here and product management is all about stakeholder management so you have to be very clear with that in terms of skill set you will see again that we have leadership yeah it's a different just wanted to make sure that so we have leadership business analysis project management team management these are some of the key skills and these are fairly common if we go to something else uh, here also you'll see we have team management business analysis project management requirement analysis uh, 
वी हैव एडिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एस टी एल सी एंड एजाइल बट अगेन दिस इज कॉमन यू हैव टू बी क्लियर विद दीज थिंग्स एज यू हैव स्टडीड दैम अर्लियर इन द कोर्स इट शुडेंट बी अ प्रॉब्लम ना इफ यू वर टू लुक एट प्रिंसिपल प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर एसेंशली यू स्टार्ट विद प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर देन यू बिकम सीनियर प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर एंड देन प्रिंसिपल प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर सो दिस इज एट अ हायर लेवल बट दे आर रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज विल बी इन लाइन विद वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर इन एडिशन टू दोज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज प्रिंसिपल प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर विल ऑल्सो हैव एडिशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ मैनेजिंग अ टीम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर्स along with performing conventional product management duties but by and large uh, overall uh, theme of product management will remain same in terms of skill set you can see that we are again having some of the common uh, requirements here so business analysis requirement analysis agile sdlc team management so in a nutshell if i have to take you back to our slide and uh, put it in a simple way i'll say that product management is the science and art of managing a product or service to deliver value to your organization user and staying ahead of the competition this is very important in today's world because no matter where you are working whether it's paypal amazon apple google this always competition and competition is trying to come up with new features better features so you need to make sure that you are staying at the top of your game and as we will go ahead we will talk about uh, product managers in detail in the next video so that will give you the type of product managers and a bit more information about them but by and large if i have to give you a sense of your responsibility for product management and as we have seen through those requirements um there is a part of development which is essentially your feature your prioritization and those kind of things then you have a strategy now prioritization is largely the strategy but uh, when you are developing and the product prioritization will feature there as well but strategy here simply refers to the business strategy uh, how you are getting that competitive edge what kind of features you are building whether uh what kind of plan you are having for example right now it's all about machine learning natural language processing and ai those kind of things so how are you using newer technology to improve your customer experience which is essentially your user experience so all these things which is user experience development and strategy they all come together to form product management as i said it's a combination or other hybrid of science and art no matter how much data you have uh, information sources you have it all boils down to how you look at the challenges how you look at your customers so it's very important to have empathy in product management and we will talk about strategy and all these things in the next few videos but for now this is our takeaway so when you are thinking about product management think about user experience strategy and development of course there are few additional elements but these are the key elements there and don't worry if you are confused about the strategy user experience and all these things we are going to address them in the next few videos so you'll get clarity on these terms and how to handle these things in product management thank you